Recent events have shown the early signs of the downfall of the Kenahan criminal organization. Coordinated international police intelligence has seen many key figures face justice. And some senior cartel members are now also working with the authorities. Stay tuned to find out how one police informant could be the final nail in the Kenahan's coffin. In early August 2023, Westminster Magistrates Court witnessed another chapter in the downfall of a once revered crime boss. Thomas Bomber Kavanagh appeared to those assembled in court via a video link from a lobby room within the court building. There was a hush in the room and the atmosphere was heavy with expectation as multiple weapons charges were recited. The infamous crime lord remained sullen-faced throughout the proceedings and made no comment to the court. As he sat silently with his arms folded, information that would send shockwaves through the world of organized crime was heard by the court. The court heard that Thomas Bomber Kavanagh had provided information about the location of weapons that were concealed in the Republic of Ireland. The implications of this revelation were dire. Kavanagh, a senior figure within the notorious Kinahan cartel, had struck a deal with the UK's National Crime Agency. It was subsequently revealed that Kavanagh had disclosed the location of a secret cartel arms cache in a bid to secure a reduced prison sentence. The information ultimately led the authorities to the concealed cache of 11 deadly weapons. Weapons which, if undiscovered, would have been used in gang crime. Would this daring gamble to work with authorities pay off for Bomber? Or could the results be hazardous to his health? The former crime kingpin now finds himself with a tarnished reputation. He is now publicly known as an informant, and in the world of organized crime, there is nothing worse than a rat. The label of a police informant, a turncoat, a rat, is not one that his associates will ever forget. It's evident that Bomber has, not very skillfully, maneuvered himself into a dangerous predicament that strikes fear into the heart of every criminal. He will be constantly looking over his shoulder. Thomas Bomber Kavanagh is an infamous figure within the Irish and UK criminal underworld. He became the leader of his own gang on the UK mainland and senior contact of the Kinahan cartel after relocating to Tamworth near Birmingham shortly after Christy Kinahan had moved to the same area in the early 2000s. He is married to Joanne Byrne, the sister of Liam and David Byrne, a relationship that solidifies his connection with the world of organized crime. Although Bomber had been on the authorities' radar throughout his criminal career, the first act in his downfall began to play out in March 2022, as he faced a crushing 21-year prison sentence. This formidable sentence was handed out for his orchestration of a huge 200 million euro drug smuggling operation, which was connected to the Kenahan's global crime network. Presently, a cloud of speculation envelops Kavanagh's interactions with law enforcement. As the investigation progressed, it came to light that Bomber was more than willing to divulge inside information about his criminal activities. His cooperation marks a stark departure from his previous dealings with law enforcement, prompting the question of whether he will succumb to pressure now that another substantial prison term looms for the firearms charges, or will he adhere to a murder, the criminal code of silence. Regardless of the outcome, the Kinahan cartel's anxiety level is likely sky high. From 2016 to 2017, Thomas Bomber Kavanagh operated at the pinnacle of a large criminal organization. He wielded great power and was seemingly untouchable. The tide would swiftly turn in 2017, when law enforcement conducted a raid on premises at the Green Oak Industrial Estate in Dublin. 
unearthing a cache of weapons, drugs, and incriminating documents. This event marked a pivotal moment that forever altered the landscape of Kavanagh's criminal career. The raid set in motion an exhaustive investigation. With the Gardai collaborating closely with the UK's National Crime Agency, ultimately leading to Kavanaugh's current lengthy prison sentence. While he serves this substantial term, Kavanaugh recently found himself back in court facing charges related to firearms offences. He stands trial alongside two co-accused, Sean Kent and Daniel McLaughlin, as part of the same investigation that also resulted in his son Jack and brother-in-law Liam Byrne being arrested in Spain and subsequently extradited to the UK in late 2023. During the investigation, intercepted EncroChat messages linked Liam Byrne and Jack Kavanagh to a network involved in procuring firearms for sale to other organised crime groups. They will now face the same charges as Kavanagh, who is currently confronted with five firearms-related charges. The court also learned that Kavanagh had been accused of sourcing the 11 firearms discovered in Newry, County Down, in May 2021. The sheer quantity of weaponry on hand in this criminal network is a testament to the scale of Kavanagh's operation in the illicit arms trade. From a law enforcement perspective, this case assumes immense significance. The investigation hinges on EncroChat and the intelligence gathered regarding firearms, some of which were found stashed in Northern Ireland. The courtroom witnessed a truly astonishing twist as it emerged that Kavanagh had played a pivotal role in guiding law enforcement officers to the weapons location in Newry. Investigators suspect Kavanagh ordered his goons to ship the weapons to Newry as part of his efforts to secure a reduced sentence for his drug smuggling charges. Officers from the NCA believe that Liam Byrne, Jack Kavanagh and Sean Kent had conspired to obstruct justice by devising a scheme to disclose the whereabouts of the weapons, all to secure a reduced prison term for Thomas Kavanagh. Additionally, Peter Keating and James Mago Gately's names surfaced in this intricate web of criminal dealings. Keating, who is currently serving an 11-year sentence for his involvement in a failed assassination attempt on Gately, is suspected of still exerting control over a network of serious criminals operating in the Clondelkin area. As a result of the unravelling of these events, Bomber's criminal network suffered significant dismantling, with many threads tracing back to the Green Oak Raid in 2017. This operation led to the discovery of the hidden weapons cache, triggering the decline of his once formidable criminal empire. The seizure of various documents linked to the Kavanaugh gang unveiled critical insights into the cartel's primary smuggling routes and how they used trucks to transport drugs and weapons from Europe into the UK and Ireland. These documents were subsequently transmitted to the UK, where Kavanagh resided in the Midlands. The ensuing raids effectively disrupted the Kinahan cartel's money laundering operations which had relied on a network of seemingly ordinary companies and money launderers without significant criminal convictions. Following the discovery of the hidden arms cache, law enforcement turned their attention to Bomber's criminal organisation in the UK. A proceeds of crime case is still in progress, with a particular focus on Kavanagh's assets, including a stash of luxury goods uncovered at his residence in Tamworth. The records uncovered in the 2017 raid illustrated how swiftly the Byrne organisation, under Kavanagh's leadership, established itself after the Regency Hotel shooting in February of 2016. In the months following the tragic death of David Byrne, they were already hatching plans for new drugs and weapons imports, and by that Christmas, they were celebrating in New York after successfully smuggling their first shipment. Their activities eventually unraveled, leading to law enforcement's discovery of the Green Oak location. 
Just a month later, the ongoing investigation into the significant firearms plot was conducted in parallel with these events and is likely to signal the end of Bomber's criminal career, assuming he still has one. The mere suggestion that he may have cooperated with law enforcement is likely the end of his dealings with the Kinahan cartel. The question now must be asked, will Bomber continue to cooperate with the authorities in the hope of bettering his circumstances while incarcerated or to reduce his sentence? Now that he will be persona non grata within the world of organized crime, cooperation with the authorities might be his only lifeline. Furthermore, cooperation with the authorities could soften the effect of the sizable criminal assets case currently looming over him, which is estimated to be worth a staggering 42 million euros. With so many senior Kinahan and Byrne family members and associates in custody, Daniel Kinahan must be experiencing plenty of sleepless nights, and this will have been exacerbated when he received news that Bomber was cooperating with the police. Obviously, Bomber cooperated in order to improve his own situation, but ultimately, his cooperation with police has probably put a massive target on his back. The Kinahans can't risk a former senior cartel member spilling his guts to the police. It seems that Bomber's days may be numbered. Thank you for joining us today on Crime Chronicles. If you like the story, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends.